Latest details on the Albuquerque shooting four days after that incident. There's still many unanswered questions. One of the biggest being why was a New Mexico State basketball player able to bring a gun on a school trip and why wasn't his bag checked by officials? We spoke with our legal expert about gun laws on college campuses. But the laws have been clear that you, you cannot have a gun on campus. You can't carry it concealed, even if you have a permit. Um, with very few exceptions, there are no guns on college or university campuses. Now, NMSU officials admit the student athletes bags were not checked at any point during the trip, but going forward, they will be. That shooting leading to more breaking news as UNM and New Mexico State today announcing they've canceled their two meetings this season. Brianna Albizu was at that announcement. She joins us live now from the pit. Brianna. Yeah, Ron, that announcement came less than 30 minutes ago. Our photographer and I just actually came from the media room right here at the pit now. Now, as you mentioned, there will now be no game between NMSU and UNM men's basketball teams. The first one was supposed to happen this Saturday, and the other one was supposed to happen later on this season in Las Cruces. But again, that is no longer happening. Now, this decision coming as an agreement between the rivalry schools after last Saturday's deadly incident on UNM campus. Athletic officials say it wasn't easy to make it and taking the past several days to reflect what would be the best option in terms of safety and security for students and athletes. Here's what they had to say just moments ago. There's still there needed to be a pause. This event just recently occurred. Um, there's still a lot of anxiety and, 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 and concerns in the community, and we want to make sure that those take precedent over over this this event. Um, with that, as I continue to to, to put some consideration into this, some of the things that we discussed was the, again, the unrest, the situations that surrounded that, um, also took into consideration past experiences, what we've experienced over the last several years. Um, we need to understand what has happened, what has gotten us to this, to this position in regards to the game itself. And I want to make sure that we can continue to provide a safe environment for our, our fans, for our student athletes, for our coaches. Now, officials went on to say that this is about a $500,000 loss in terms of the UNM Athletic Department alone. So already so much money on the hold right there. Uh, as far as what it takes to feel comfortable for future games, they say they do partnerships with APD, UNM PD on making sure people stay safe. But right now, this is just a decision they'll have to make and may possibly in the future for other games they are thinking about installing metal detectors. Reporting live in at the pit, Brian Albizu, KOT Action 7 News.